All right, and to wrap up our 48 hours in Florence, including Easter, we're doing a quick golf cart tour because this is easier for Jeff's grandma. So let's get this party started. <laughs> so where are you from? Um, New York. Wow, New York. Yeah. Okay, and further, I will let you listen an explanation. Any question at the end, ask me. Okay. okay. Are we going to the uh, Piazza yes, Signore? Okay. 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 What's that? The prayer before the church welcomed the many faithful called by the preaching of the friars and was repeatedly expanded to become one of the largest squares in the city. Parties, rides, and other shows were organized here, such as the Palio. It is the longest river in Tuscany and the fourth in Italy. The Arno River originates in Montalterona and flows into the Tyrrhenian Sea near Pisa, the city of the Leaky Tower, which was a busy port in the Middle Ages and a great maritime republic. The first bridge we see to the right, built in 1218, is called Alicaraia, or Wagon Bridge, because it was used to transport goods in wagons. The next is Ponte Santa Trinita, or St. Trinity Bridge, one of the most beautiful and most loved by the Florentines. Constructed in 1252, it was destroyed by a flood of the Arno in 1557 and rebuilt to a design of Bartolomeo Amanati, a student of Michelangelo. Both of the bridges were destroyed during the Second World War and faithfully reconstructed in the 50s of the 20th century. The marble statues placed at the four sides of the bridge represent the four allegories of the seasons. In the distance is the unmistakable silhouette of the Ponte Vecchio, or Old Bridge. The only one the Nazis didn't destroy. Ponte Vecchio. From our location, we have a striking perspective of one of the best known images in the city. In existence since Roman times, built at the narrowest point of the river with stone pilings and decking planks of wood, the bridge was destroyed. From among which, the main one is the complex of the Pitti Palace. The neighborhood is still very popular, which makes it characteristic and lively. by Filippo Brunelleschi. So great was the ambition of the enterprising and wealthy merchant to outdo the splendor of the Medici and the Strozzi, two other very rich Florentine families, that Luca Pitti ordered his palace should be of dimensions the equal of which could not be found in the entire city. The building's original appearance was that of a cube of two floors with seven central windows and three large doors. Covered by a moon ash continued into the following centuries and entailed the extension of the facade to its present length of 205 meters, roughly 600 meters. So it continues also on the right. Very cool. The corridor of the Medici family to cross the city from one side to the other side. Now we will pass under the corridor. Corridoio Passariano. 
Turning our gaze above the shops, we can see some of the windows belonging to the famous Vasari Corridor, named after its builder, Giorgio Vasari. Built in 1565 in Japan. Housing a vast collection of paintings, the world's largest collection of portraits and self portraits of famous Italian and foreign artists from the 14th century to the Yeah. And now, we're walking back to the car. city of Florence. It was built according to a design. Here by the Signoria. 